Picture yourself standing on the edge of a vast, icy land, a place where the wind howls and the horizon stretches endlessly. Thousands of years ago, this was where it all began for the ancestors of Native Americans, a breathtaking journey that started on a frozen bridge between Asia and North America called Beringia. These weren't just travelers, they were pioneers, brave souls chasing the promise of new horizons guided by the stars and the land itself. Their story isn't it just carved in stone or whispered in legends. It's alive in their DNA, a code that tells us how they crossed continents, thrived in wild places, and wove a tapestry of cultures that still dazzles us today. Let's dive into this incredible adventure, a tale of grit, wonder, and the surprising twists that make Native American heritage so special. Way back when the world was locked in ice, sea levels dropped and Beringia emerged like a wide open door. Between 20,000 and 14,000 years ago, the first people stepped onto this land, their footsteps marking the start of something huge. They didn't stop there, they spread out, painting the Americas with life from the snowy peaks of Alaska to the steamy jungles of South America. But here's the kicker. It wasn't just one big trip. Different waves of people came over time, each adding their own spark to the mix. Around 5,000 years ago, newcomers arrived, ancestors of folks like the Inuit and Navajo, bringing fresh energy to an already vibrant story. It's like a family reunion that spanned millennia with every branch growing its own way. Now imagine those early travelers getting stuck in Beringia, surrounded by ice for thousands of years. Scientists call it the Beringian standstill, and it's wild to think about. Cut off from the world, they grew tougher, their bodies and spirits adapting to the cold and the unknown. When the ice finally loosened its grip around 16,000 years ago, they burst out, racing down the coast all the way to Chile in a flash. That's not just moving, that's conquering the impossible with nothing but courage and cleverness. Their DNA holds the proof, little markers that whisper tales of those days, showing how they became a people ready for anything. How do we know all this? It's in the blood and bones of today's Native Americans, and even in the ancient remains they've left behind. There's this one marker, QM3, that pops up in Native American men, a kind of genetic handshake that started here 15,000 years ago and now stretches across two continents. And from the mothers, we see five big family lines, A, B, C, D, and X, each with its own special twist like X2A, which you'll only find around the Great Lakes. These aren't just random dots on a map, their proof of roots sunk deep into this land, growing and changing right here in the Americas. What's really amazing is how these people made every corner of this huge place their own. Up in the Arctic, the Inuit turned seal fat into fuel with a genetic trick that keeps them warm and strong. Down in the Andes, folks like the Quechua breathe easy at dizzying heights, their bodies tuned to grab every bit of oxygen they can. From rainforest to plains, they didn't just survive, they thrived, their genes shaping them to fit each wild, beautiful spot like a glove. It's not magic, it's the slow, steady work of life finding a way, and it's written in every heartbeat of their descendants. This isn't a one-note song either. Over 500 tribes in the U.S. alone, each with its own voice, its own dance, carry this legacy. Down in the Amazon, some groups are so different genetically you'd think they came from opposite sides of the world, while up north, neighbors like the Navajo and Hopi shine with their own distinct light. It's a kaleidoscope of humanity, each piece glowing with its own story, proving that Native American history is a chorus, not a solo. And the surprises keep coming. A few years back, scientists found a baby's bones in Alaska, buried 11,500 years ago. Her DNA revealed a whole new group, the ancient Beringians, showing us the Americas were buzzing with diversity even then. Then there's the twist of some heading back to Siberia, sharing their genes across the Bering Strait like a boomerang of culture. And get this. Around 1200 AD, Native Americans met Polynesians in the Pacific, leaving traces of their DNA on Easter Island. These weren't just stay-at-home folks. They were explorers, linking worlds long before anyone else dreamed of it. Life hasn't always been kind, though. When newcomers from Europe showed up after 1492, they brought sickness that hit hard, shrinking the rich diversity of these communities. But even through that storm, native peoples held on, their unique genetic threads still shining bright. 
Today, their descendants work with scientists to keep that heritage alive, using DNA to reclaim stories nearly lost. It's not always been smooth. There were times like with the Havasupai when trust was broken, but now it's different. Research happens hand in hand with tribes, making sure it lifts them up, not just takes. So why does this matter? Because it, it's a window into an epic human journey, one that started on an icy bridge and spread across a world. It's about people who faced the unknown and turned it into home, leaving a mark that's still here in the land, the languages, the faces of their kids. DNA isn't just science, it's a lifeline, helping tribes claim their past and tackle today's challenges, like health issues that hit harder in their communities. For some, it's personal, a way to feel closer to ancestors who walked that first path. Let's step back and soak it in. Native American DNA is a map of resilience, a song of survival, a bridge from then to now. It's the story of people who crossed oceans of ice and time, who turned every challenge into a chance to grow. Their history isn't locked away. It's alive, waiting for us to listen. Next time you look at the land around you, think of them, the ones who started it all, whose spirit still echoes in every step we take together.